Hey guys and welcome to a new Panda Film tutorial. In this tutorial sort of tip episode, I'm going to show you how you can make track presets in Pro Tools Empowered 8 on a Windows 7 machine. Before we do anything, the first thing you want to do is go to your DigiDesign folder on your computer. You can find that in your computer, local disk, program files x86 and DigiDesign. Once you're in the DigiDesign folder, create a folder called Pro Tools and another one called Track Presets. Once you've made your Track Presets folder, you can start adding subcategories like I have here. I've got my audio and instrument uh, subcategories right there. So the first thing you want to do is make sure your project you're going to be making these presets from is completely blank. Because whatever's going to be in here is going to be recreated when you load the track preset. So I'm going to get rid of the click and there we are. So I'm going to show you what these track presets look like and how they work. So this all looks normal but if we go into the drop down menu here you can see that I have those two folders I made in here. I've got audio and instruments and they can be found here. So if I go to my audio you can see that this disappears and we have this menu here with our presets. So I've got Vox CLA76 and Vox, or did I pronounce that, 660. So let's say I'm going to, I want a vocal chain with the CLA76 compressor on it. Hit create. It's creating my track. And there you go. I've got my Q10 equalizer, my Macy Diesa, and my CLA76 compressor. Now say I wanted the, um, the 660. Just go ahead, drop down the menu, choose that preset, and hit Create. And voila! We have my Q10, Macy Diosa, and Pig Child 660. So I'm going to delete these both and show you what you need to do. First things first, set up your track as you normally would in a session. Mono, audio track, samples, create. I'm going to name this Vox. Now in this vocal chain, I'm going to use different EQs, different DSA, and a different compressor. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up this plugin, EQ. I'm going to choose the EQ7 band by DigiDesign. Then I'm going to choose the oh, DigiDesign DSA. And then I'm going to choose the, oh, I don't know. The SSL compressor right here, this one. So now we've done that, we can start working on our sends. That's another thing about track presets, it also saves the sends and routing information. So in the sends, I'm going to choose a plate reverb and a delay, and then I'm going to change my output to submix, which is where I want it to be routed. So now we've done that, we've got our inserts, our sends, and now our in and outs all sorted. We can go ahead, go to File, Save as Template. And then once this dialog pops up, you want to choose Select Location for Template, and hit OK. Maybe you'll be presented with this, go to your Track Presets folder, go to your Audio folder, and name your preset. I'm going to choose Vox, SSL, Comp. and hit save. So once you've saved that, bring up your new track dialog, go to audio, and voila, it is right there, ready to be used. You don't even have to restart Pro Tools to reload your presets. So that's how you do it, it's really simple. Now I'm going to show you an effects track way of doing it. Let's go stereo, auxiliary input, samples. I'm going to name this plate verb, well, I'm going to load up my Lexicon Vintage Plate Reverb right here. So once that's been loaded, we can just leave the settings. You want to fix them when you actually um, set up your mix later on. And the input, I'm going to choose the bus and choose Plate Verb Bus right there. And then for the output, I'm going to choose Submix. 
So now we have our track preset for an auxiliary input. Now I'm going to do that file, save as template, select location for my template, hit OK. And rather than choosing audio and instruments, I'm going to choose aux. Aux, that'll do. Oh, maybe I can't. Okay, I'm going to choose reverb. Open up this folder. Choose plate lexicon, like so. So now we're going to delete this track, create a new track. We've got our reverb and plate lexicon. Create it, and voila, we have our vintage plate plugin. And its I.O. is the plate verb input and the submix output. So that's how you make presets in Pro Tools. It's a really straightforward and easy way of doing things. It speeds up your workflow tremendously. And it's, it's disappointing that Avid or DigiDesign haven't actually implemented this as an actual feature within Pro Tools. Cubase and Logic have had it since the early times when they started. So I really hope this is going to be a feature they actually build into the system. But for now, this is a really easy way of making track presets. So thanks for watching. I should see you next time.